Hi, this is Paul Palmer, and I'm talking today about observation skills. So I've been now in pharmaceutical manufacturing and distribution for 35 years, and I've seen a wide range of different activities going on. And the ones that I like to be involved in are operational activities. Yes, I'm a qualified person and I get involved in the batch release, but I like to see what's happening more than just looking at the numbers, looking at the paperwork. I like to see how it is that you're behaving within the environment, how the team work and gel together, how the management actually interact with the team, or are they uh, a bit too aloof? Um, and I like to see things, I suppose, that are going right and going wrong, and learn from what's going right, and, and think about how I might address the thing that's going wrong if it was in my organization. Now, as an auditor, you have no choice. You've got to go around and you've got to watch what's going on. You need to look out for things that don't quite fit in. So a good one to do is to go into a warehouse and you look right at the top and just look for one that's packaged differently to the rest. So for those of you that I'm going to audit, if you want me to make sure that I am going to look at something that's um, okay, that you've already checked the paperwork for, just make it look different. And if you want to check for yourself and make sure you fix your own problems, well, look for the things that stand out and deal with them. And make sure it's not just the things that they've highlighted to you. Look for the things that you don't expect. Look for the one that sat in the back corner that's not quite sealed properly, but covered up by something being in front of it. Observation skills are really important. When I'm on the, uh, a specific line getting an explanation, I'm still looking at what's happening at the next line. So I might be listening to what's going on and then finding out something else at the same time. That's Paul Palmer. I'll talk to you soon.